Last week, crabbers were still working, even if part of that work was pulling their traps from Louisiana waters and stacking them on the bank. It's going to put me out of business, not make any money. Crabbing shut down in Louisiana last Sunday night, midnight. Crab fishing families already suffering. With four kids to feed, Stephen Lopez can't sleep at night. And all these people out here in the same boat. Yeah, I got families to support. I don't know. I got my wife, my kids. Uh, they all work for me, my son-in-law. And I have a crab dock in the Zamans. And I also fish crabs. And with this crab closure, I mean, none of us can't fish. And they're going to be out of work also. About 100 crabbers, their families, gathered on the Mandeville Lakefront, not to protest so much, but to get their story told. With family and future at stake, emotions run high. Every fisherman here right now, when they picked up their traps last week, was probably one of the better weeks, right? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? We stacking traps on the stern while making money because they got a shortage on crabs. There's no money coming in our accounts, in any of these people's accounts. Kids don't understand that. It's horrible. The State Department of Wildlife and Fisheries imposed the 30-day ban, one of several new regulations to prevent overfishing and protect the blue crab population. But crabbers maintain the ban will do little other than hurt their families. Try explaining to a four-year-old and an eight-year-old why mommy and daddy aren't going to work and why we can't go to the store and get stuff right now because we got to watch every penny. For these folks, crabbing really is a way of life. Concerned now they must find another way to make ends meet until these traps go back where they belong. In Mandeville, Heath Allen, WDSU News.